<coughs> Hello, my name is Ji Yun Zhan, and my presentation topic is Raising Awareness of a Digital Humanity Center on the Metaverse Establishment of Jerusalem Old City. And these are the index, and I will briefly explain the introduction regarding the research background and methodology and precedent research. And then I will look over the concept of the metaverse and the types and developments of the metaverse platform. And second main point is the metaverse establishment of Jerusalem's old city. In this presentation, I will talk about Solomon's reign time and I will see, I will see what useful Jerusalem content we have according to archaeological data. And last is the expected result and conclusion following. As this conference topic is about lesson from pandemic, so after the COVID pandemic, a contactless method like the metaverse platform is rapidly spreading. And recently, there is, <clears throat> there is a study that suggests a way to establish UNESCO World Heritage and Metaverse. One of the example is Trojan World Heritage. By using this service with an avatar, Metaverse users can experience the space of 10 different civilizations that existed on the Trojan layer, which is mean it becomes a possible to experience what was destroyed in the past. So as I, don't have, a, as I have not much time, so I will skip this methodology page. And to understand the Metaverse easily within our daily life, one of the representative of Metaverse is a Pokemon Go. And Pokemon Go is an AR game launched in 2016. Game players could hunt for virtual Pokemons in the real world using network devices such as smartphones. And likewise, in domestic research, Kim Eun Suk and Eun Tech suggested an augmented reality based on historical site tours. As an example, the history of the K-culture -culture time machine project was demonstrated to prove feasibility. History or narratives were explained with Korean historic temple background, and it enables transcending time and space by offering time space reality contents. And in overseas research, European architecture heritage is recognized as an important tourism resource. And that is why the development of AR service through architecture heritage is being actively conducted. In the case of the Italy, there is a Michelangelo project, which is a research project for 3D precise scanning and digital stereoscopic data. So one of the institutes named Inception in Europe is trying to make the standard of the 3D semantic modeling of architectural heritage related to the preser pre preservation and restoration of architectural cultural heritage for the spatial experiments. And this is one of the three dash twos from the Inception Institute. So they how make the 3D modeling from the European architectural heritage. And also, Chun Jun Ho analyzed the characteristics of an augmented reality service regarding Roman culture heritage. And his analysis, his analysis form is like this. And spatial virtual content was based on historical backgrounds, and the storytelling made the users be able to experience Roman history. The standard for the analysis was based on a digital restoration on prototype. And depending on the physical level of the present architecture heritage, it can be either original restorations, which is means restoring an architectural heritage that has been destroyed ever, or partial restoration, which is literally means the restored architecture heritage that has been partially destroyed. 
and the right specters are images, sound, and software, and spatial experience. And I also apply this analysis form um, to Jerusalem content. So this is an analysis example regarding the AR of a bus of a Karkalasa in RAM. So this is a Karkalasa bus image. And Max Elliot Zuckerberg said that the next media platform will be more immersive and embody the internet to the extent people are in the experience, not in just looking at it. It is called the metaverse, and Mark has decided to change the name of his company, Facebook to Mega, because uh, Facebook aims to implement a metaverse-based next generation computing platform. In 2014, they took over Oculus, a VR headset company, and are investing to, the, to link Facebook and VR service. They are also investing Infinite Office, a virtual office, Environment Horizon, a virtual living platform, so they secure the leadership in the metaverse business. And these are the four types of the metaverse. Augmented reality is like the Pokemon Go, as I said, and mirror, re mirror world refers to a virtual space that imitates reality based on external environmental information. And live logging as an online space, recording information that an individual feels like a Facebook or Instagram. And last, I'm going to take a virtual world to establish Jerusalem old city cultural heritage in metaverse. So because the virtual world is literally means virtual world. The Jerusalem architecture heritage in Solomon's time were almost destroyed. That's why I took the virtual world. And in Solomon's reign time, I choose five places as a five interests of the points in the metaverse, which is our Solomon's holy temple, the royal palace, the forest house of the Rabbanon, and throne hall, and then public hall. So these are the how looks like the five places at at the rain time. And to establish cultural heritage, which is especially was transformed or destroyed in metaverse, it has it has been it has to be built up based on archaeological proof. And this table shows scholars' assertion of how Lake Solomon's temple, and according to the archaeological date, data and materials, um, Josep and Madeleine, who belong to the Institutes of Archaeology in the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, worked together with architect Loy to do three-dimensional reconstruction of Solomon's temple using computerized architecture software. So they refer to um, Wasinga's data. So there are scholars, and they refer to the highlight scholars' archaeological data to establish the 3D modeling. According to the, the ground plan of the temple, the isometric reconstruction of the temple was uh, presented in here. And a section of a wall built in Solomon's day was found south of the Temple Mountain on the Opel. And the Opel refers to a high feature such as a steep slope. The remains of the excavated wall are 19.6 feet high and 230 feet long. A gate house was found along with the portion of a Solomon's wall, and it led into the lower district of the city. And Solomon also built a house for himself with a whole lot of lines and a whole lot of judgment adjacent to it. It was presumably in the later building that Solomon demonstrated his wisdom in dealing with the two women both claiming to be the mother of the same child. And he built the house of the forest of Lebanon, where he kept military equipment such as the shield of a beaten gold. And next to it, the king Solomon made a great throne of ivory and overlaid with the finest gold. For so every entry into the Holy of Holies was heavily restricted, and only the high priest of Israel entered the sanctuary once per year on Yom Kippur Day carrying the blood of a sacrificial lamp and burning incense. Therefore, the two Solomon's temple and the rest for, rest for architects 
I set up an Abatai, so high priest of Israel, and there is a draft of analysis regarding Solomon's temple to be established in the Amenabes, as I copy from Romans analysis form. And as I am creating story world, I will keep going the rest of the culture heritage in the Solomon's reign time. And from 2013 to 2018, individuals need to take advantage of the new jobs and careers opportunities that are being created on the Metaverse platform. The Metaverse platform is increasing the opportunities for users to create their own content with participation. And there are already 7 million developers on Roblox and 60,000 cumulative creators on Jepeto. So Roblox and Jepeto are the renowned Metaverse platform this day. And just as a YouTube platform grew through the ungenerated contents, a user's generated contents and created new occupations such as YouTubers or influencer, active industry is expected through the Metaverse platform. So what kind of a content we are making out to gain and to make an economic industry, so that's the key point in the Metaverse platform. So although there are still many limitations of a research, like some skeptical scholars of the existence of a Solomon's temple, and Jerusalem, old city, has many archaeological resources over 5,000 years, and it shows clear change of a ruler and separation between ethnic and religion. So therefore, my research range will include second and third temple age, temple age progressively. So although I have many uh, limitations of the study, so I hope progressively develop my thesis. And thank you for listening to my presentation. Thank you.